hi. Well, I guess I'm not the first guy here. You, you could have told me what you were doing here. I'll get that later. But yeah, another god here. Uh, looks like another old god to put to rest. All of these wisdom points. Put nos. To look up this one. But yeah, I figured it out, by the way, that the central conduit here is for the statue above us, but they have a sort of, you know, IM system going here with all these other statues allowed to talk to us. We saw that last episode with them, two, with the woman talking to one of her kids, or younger brother, maybe. It depends on the gods. It can be really hard sometimes to separate out, you know, relations being the level of incest. But I'm supposed to complete the mission the Eye of Horus for, Tum for Tatmos. Well, let's go with it. A corrupted general, empowered by the Black Pharaoh, is building an army of followers below the pyramid. Though Tutmos' powers are still strong, he's incorporeal and cannot take the fight directly to the enemy without help. If you can recreate his old sigil, the Eye of Horus, you could temporarily wield his powers and dispatch the growing army led by the corrupted general. Fragments of the sigil have probably been taken by the Atnis. Find and collect them. Oop, it's a fetch quest. In the filthy shadow of the Black Pharaoh's pyramid, his army is made strong. Their general has received all the blessings of the Arten. Hack him to pieces. He will only laugh and spit black tar in your face. Their god is a false one, but this is the cradle of its power. My god remains true, but it has been so long. I do not know if he still holds court. Don't let your sorrow invite blasphemy, brother. <laughs> you know that we outlived our civilization. What if we outlived our gods, too? Then they live on through our Pesajet, and through our memory they are justified. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... You're right. Humility looks peculiar on you, sister. Wanderer, when we rode out to face the Artanists, we wore divine sigils draped upon us by the boy king Tut himself. If you were to fashion the Eye of Horus, offer it upon an altar, I will endeavor to lend you that power. Wield it to cleanse the general's followers with your righteous fire. Then dispatch him. So justice will be done. So vengeance will be delivered. So Egypt will be protected. Okay. So, go to the factory. Now, here's the thing. We were talking about gods previously. Wait, this way, sorry. Um, yeah, the thing is, is that gods have a shelf life. And these priests, who have acted as a conduit, now only have access to a small fraction of the now deceased's power. So, yeah, like I stated, these guys are the last sentinels, literally, of the old gods, and I'm the first sentinel of the new gods. And we're having our huge battle with the um, fallen that would usurp the gods' place and create their own hell. Okay, this is the reformatory. Looks like a boys' school. All right, hang on. Hang on. Uh, there. What I like about the fact is that this guy isn't on fire over here. Here, that's oh, misery. Seriously. Oh man. Well, because they don't have any gasoline. Really, as that might seem. Hang on a second. Uh, let's get both of you together. One zero. Hey, you saw me coming. Cool. Not gonna help you much. Ah, it's still alive, huh? I like how he literally got in the way of my shot, trying to protect her. That's you know very appropriate. I'll grab that. And this is sigil fragment. All right, so we'll get the. Excuse me. Since you guys seem to actually see me coming, and, and they're filth ones, great. Which means that they're simply gonna pop back shortly. That's filthy knockoffs. I'm the original, I'm the better. Uh. Uh. Bam. Uh. So yeah, these guys have been so contaminated, they're literally made of filth. There we go. Oh, gods. Shot out my knee. I have to regenerate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ugh, that must smell. And now you. Do not care what you just said. All right, all right. And there's the other piece. I could kill you guys, but what's the point? We all both regenerate. This is like this. This is why it's, it's forever war. Both sides regenerate, come back from the dead, can alter reality. Well, what's going to happen is everybody between us is going to get killed. Quick right? access inventory updated. All right, so I'm supposed to siphon his powers by killing his followers, according to what they said. So let's find them all, shall we? Okay, okay. A ton's blade. I'm guessing the fat guy is one of them. Let's see if I can get you all in one place. Then, trigger. Oh, 2,000 cursed cultists I've killed as opposed to the blessed cultists. I guess I would be the blessed cultist. Supposed to have this ability going when I do this. Hey, that was cool. Which one of you have like a weapon too? Natan means set you on fire. Okay, got it. Uh, cool. That's Hazat. I think I'm supposed to kill you last. Right, right, right. Harbinger, burn. Ugh, I'm gonna need the blade, aren't I? Purification ability. All right, all right, all right. And hang on. <sighs> Technicalities. Boom. All right. Eh, maybe a little close quarter work would be good. Oh, great. Do I have to get in that stuff? Because I really don't want to get in that stuff. Cool. Apparently not. Uh, the Tremor. Cool. Let's take you out, all right? What power have you within Arten's house? Well, I don't know. It seems you're doing okay. If it's his house, he should clean it. All right, all right, all right. Oh, hi. Stone. Owie. Well, this guy to turn into a party. Oi. Nice of you to... Ah, the general can attack me. Let's get out of this filth bath. Ow. All right, all right, um, you guys. I forgot how powerful the fireballs were. All right, all right, who else do we got to kill? Who do we have to kill to get... Eh, I don't think that's it. Let's see, how many other followers do we have to kill here? Oh, this doesn't seem to be filth either. Good, just a little bit of filth doesn't hurt you, right? Okay. Ah, get another follower. Suck it. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 ooh. No, I don't want to. Oh, for crying out loud. A ten. I did set you on fire, so you did get your wish, okay? Holy cow. Hey, got a companion. This is awesome. Maybe he can help. All you have is a hammer, right? Am I right? All right, so you over here. All right, all right. Cool.
And dead. Ooh, not dead, huh? There we go. All right. Siphon the power. No. I'm gonna have to keep going, whatever we're doing. Cool. Do I have to wait for them to respawn? Uh, well, I guess I'll go ahead with this guy. Apparently we can't work together. We're kill stealing each other. What power have you within I have to kill you all again. Ah, god damn it. This filth makes things so rough. Alright, completed. Cool. I only got 33 seconds left on this icon, which means I'll have to use it again. Hopefully I can finish this guy off first. Hey, I got a sword too. What about that? I also got that. That's a Kopesh, dude. Not the best piece of tech in the world. But all right, all right. Let's say shift one. There we go. Let's get a reboot on that. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyways. All right, and... I love that little ability. And then boom. Yes, I truly fear your 9mm. He's going in that direction. I'll go in this direction. Odds are they've respawned by now. Let's see. When the job description is kill everything, I tend to be pretty good at it. Um, okay. Oh, there you are. Cool. That's right. Run into the Hellstrom. Full moon. Dude, they didn't give you that for a lunar ability, just to let you know. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. The fact that, yeah, they gave him the name Full Noon because the robe was too short. Ugh, God. I'm so used to you guys just not having a clue. You having a clue is minorly annoying. Right, he doesn't even have any of the special hammers, just a sledgehammer. And why is he called the Weaver if he's got a hammer? Oh, well, that was unkind. All right, is everybody dead now? All right, all right. Shining. You know, Doctor Sleep's coming back, which is the sequel of The Shining, and I am actually looking forward to that. Oh, God, Stephen King, I've missed you so much. The accident took a lot out of him. All right, all right, let's go kill the general. Don't you be yanking my kill there. Ooh. Okay, keeping it. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to kill the Shining first. That's right. You do die. No, wait. Oh, wrong one. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm terribly sorry about this. Here, this is how you do it. It's shining. Probably up there. Uh... Hi. Are you the Shining? Please be the Shining. And he's called the Shining because he has his shiny Wolverine claws. Cool. Now I can kill the general. Because there are rules for these things. All right, here we go. Ultimate showdown of destiny. Around here somewhere, right? Allowed. It's the harbinger. This is just two diets chilling. Uh, where is the general? You guys just didn't all dress alike. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, let's wait for him to respawn. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm looking for the general of doom here. Which king will suffice as well? Apparently pulling himself back together. Ah, there he is. Oh, I gotta fight two of them. Give me a second. 
Ooh, he does throw real real winds. All oh, right, he's dead. You can join him. Okay, so let's see what Kirsten has to say about this. Imagine the current crisis plotted in a graph. The red line, the strength of Akaton, is trending up. The blue line, the strength of the Sentinels has plummeted to the 3,000-year low. Trust that we are savvy speculators. We like the low end of this graph. The, the Sentinels still have things to offer. The Eye of Horus is a hell of a nice to have, and our end games match up reasonably well. Most importantly, these Eternals are desperate. This is the moment to make them owe us. Uh, that's really beyond you, kiddo. Like I said, this is a god's thing. Ah, so... howdy oop Right then. Blessing time. Let's see what we got. Greetings to you, Wanderer. Greetings to you, too. This is my eldest son, Tutmosa. He is the falcon that watches over the pyramid. Hello, Father. High Priest of Amun. That's right, they are priests. He embodies the spirit of Horus. Channel your spirit, my son. Excellent. Now remember we heard the song of the dreamers. This is the counter song, count the song of order. And like I said, they are conduits for the god force, but the god force being dying, there's not much left. Okay. Let's uh, give him a hand with this other job here. Dark places. Hidden in the shadows of memory and the secluded beneath the black rocks and canyons have long been a refuge for beasts and fallen warriors. Thutmose can no longer ignore all the stirs behind his back requires help to access. Strategy and caution required to access the threat which is gathering in the canyon. All right, let's go. Two more in the bag. Mark a coil of rope on the board, brother. And on your watch, too. If you paid as much attention to your own watch, the scales of war would be weighted in our favor by now. Oh, go stick your head in the sand, big bird. <laughs> you have a large mouth, little kitty. But your bite suffers. Your teeth have been blunted by idle chatter. As entertaining as your squabbling is, I'd rather... There are more of them. Emerging from that ill-omened canyon. They gather there as mosquitoes would at a stagnant pool. When we laid siege to the temple city as flesh and blood, the Black Pharaoh's beasts withdrew there to regroup. They knew it would be foolish for us to chase them within. But you were fearless. You saw a nest of coiled vipers and did not hesitate to strike off their heads. That's ancient history now, Hemi. And I am more mindful. To purge that canyon again, I would counsel strategy, positioning, and caution. To think it only took you millennia to reach this enlightened state. Stoneheadedness runs in the family. Oh, that's a bad one. Okay, with that, I guess we're off. Okay, so find us. Wrong way. Find a survey point. Doing good, guys. Just, um, chill, I guess. This is the first time we had a mission where we actually had the concept of strategy, but the, considering most of my strategies are blow things up or freeze them, oof. Looks a odd. Ravine of the Champion. We're getting that black veiny thing. Is this the last guy they sent? Because this doesn't make me feel secure. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Alright, alright, alright. So. Oh, there we go. Looks like a lot of sludge. What the? Uh, well, that sucked. Um. Right then. End off the canyon, spirits. All right. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's. Come on, come on. Right then. Where is the exit? Exit. Oh my God. You dead. You dead. Wait. Okay, I'm guessing I was supposed to die. At least I think so. I mean, it was like 8 to 1 there. Alright then. 
Make contact with a ghostly warrior. So you got killed too, huh, dude? After world's kind of sucks. All right, duel. Maybe he knows where the place, the cool place to hang out is. I mean, Hades has got to have a bar somewhere, right? Ah. Or would it, that be Anubis here, wouldn't it? Sorry, I'm kind of a classicist. All right, so. The toxin lightning bolts. Eh, well, you know, who am I to disparage his culture? Okay, back to life. And you need to defeat the Guardian of the Threshold, which is kind of typical for, you know, coming back to life scenarios. Usually, there's somebody, dog-like a lot of times, whose job is to keep the dead from, you know, coming back to the living. The thing is, being, you know, divine. So, the Blade of Tutanos. You must have left it here by accident. Quick access inventory updated. All right, all right, all right. So, return to the spirits. I'm glad the bees know what to do because I'm kind of lost. Oh, and I'm dead again. Okay, use the blade. All right, so back in the unchill land of the dead, which is really just land of living with a bad sepia uh, tone. All right, all right. Supposed to use the blade to rally the warriors. Okay, cool. I think I saw at least these guys over here. And this is their version of paradise. Sometimes it's hard to find people. This sort of... All right, there we go. Oh, we have to use the blade. There we go. Hi. Um, I think I just killed a ghost. All right, I guess I get to kill you, too. Oh, gods, I am just the, not the leader of these people we need. Hey, want to be deader than dead? Cool. Eh, it's a party now. All right. So, right. We'll check this portal out. All right, you know, I realize how easy it is to get back to the land of the living. Why didn't you guys do this? All right, there we go. Follow me, kill them all. That is one weird-ass sword. It's over the Excalibur. It's actually a form of technology that us primitive morons just use as a sharp piece of steel. Right. Uh, ah, oh, you guys again. All right, it's a party now. Uh, cool, you got this matching outfit going. Or you guys have been around so long, you just start to look like each other. Uh, why do you sound like a goat? That's it, keep him busy. I'll use the assault rifle, you guys can use the sharp steel. I kinda wish you could use the sword of Tomatos. Ah, sneak attack. Nobody expects the ghostly inquisition. Hey, I can heal them. That's awesome. I didn't really know if you could heal the NPCs. Yeah, my grenade actually heals allies. It hurts enemies, and oh my god, that is a huge bug. Just, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to be there. Uh, you're not allowed to fly above my area of effect. Oh, for what the? That was weird. Okay, so, come on. Apparently, I resurrected these guys using Ren and Stimpy rules, which is that if you kill a ghost, they come back to life. That's actually true. For those of you who remember Ren and Stimpy, their Halloween issue, um, issue episode had them killing a ghost. And, oh my god, it's raining filth. Today it's partially cloudy with a 30% chance of eldritch abomination induced ooze with occasional dead people. Oh wait. Technically, we're all dead people. I just, you know, I guess I'm by dead you know what I mean? Ugh, gods. Oh wait. That's, that thing is pooping on us, isn't it? 
Oh, uh, I don't even have a hat on. Right then. Uh, guys, try not to be corrupted by the primordial ooze of darkness, okay? Really don't want to have to kill you guys. Alright, soul corruptor. I'm a soul man. I think I've broken something. I'm singing. Not flying above my attacks. It's annoying. Ban the filth. Ew. Yeah, you guys were a lot of help. Must I do everything? The dark in the North Canyon was a sight of the much maligned. No surprise there. Your ability to scrounge up some help on the fly was definitely impressive. It's troubling how unlocal some of these phenomena are. It'd be nice to file all your current reports into one neat Egypt folder, but that just doesn't seem possible. We're tweaking our corporate structure to focus on a new kind of global analysis skill set. We need people who can tell us exactly what the threshold guardians are guarding, for example. Broadcasted connections is where the future lies. We don't have a future. This is the apocalypse. Don't worry, I'm sure that on the ground grunt work will still be important. Great. Ugh, and I need to do some stuff with the inventory. Anyways, so yeah. Let's get out of here. I don't think this is out of here. Eh, dead bodies, hellfire. Screw it. Apparently. Ah! This is out of here, good. Right then, since we're in the middle of nowhere, I'll just skip ahead to the next part, okay? Okay, actually, I came off of the uh, rise over there and found this meteor, you know, probably it's a portal over there, I'll get to that later. This meteor just lying here with a uh, crest indicator by it, so let's see what this possibly radioactive rock has to say. Points of impact. A meteorite appears to have crashed into the sand. Smoke still billows from the crater, but there is something sinister about the fragments. From certain angles, they give more of the impression of a searing altar more than a random crash site. There may be other larger pieces of the strange meteorite pockmarking the area. It is worth investigating what damage may have done if something sinister has been left behind. So, any other Lovecraft fans out there might remember the color from outer space, which is about an alien presence that has crashes with a meteor and you know, completely wipes out a town by drive, by uh, turning it into a bizarre form of uh, alien uh, radiation-affected life. Now, one thing you may be kind of weird is that this is also the plot of Annihilation, um, which is kind of weird, but um, maybe it was an influence. I don't know. Anyways, I'm supposed to be looking for something here. I've seen the other crash sites, but what exactly am I supposed to be looking for? Uh, okay. Whoa, hi! Ooh, let's move off to the side here. Uh, apparently, alien golems, which is, you know, cool. Or, you know, not so cool, it'd be lava. Uh, here we summon another one? Yes, we do! Great! Uh, call the primary melt. Fire, yeah, fireworks. I don't know why, but it works. Oh, finally, finally. Okay, that was unfun. Ugh, so apparently, the powers that be are gathering sentient meteorites to attack us. I suppose it's a tactic. Let's see how it's good at. How it I mean, landing these among, you know, the standard new entries is probably quite effective. But that's why they got us. Alright then. Alright, come on, dude. My magic bullets. Alright. Let's keep regenerating these bastards as bad as the, uh... Oh, there you go. Ooh, I'm on fire! Alright, alright, come on, come on. Oh, for crying out loud. The trolls are a bit wonky. Oh, just... Probably should check out the other ones. 
let my body regenerate a little. Let's see, you have any surprises down here? All right, cool. Or not so cool. All right, another cooling bottle. bottle. Martian golems. I like that. Got really strict. I mean, we've already traveled through time. I'm guessing the alien life forms is just another uh, one more of you. It's just a the next step. Yep, primary melts. You'll do. All right. Hi. Welcome to Earth. Will Smith style. All right. Warm Tatu Moose. Uh, I suppose I gotta check over there. Dude, it's not that far away, but oh my god, they've landed an army down here. Anyways, I believe we've done enough missions for the Lord of the Hunt here. Where's the bridge? It's over here. Oh, what the heck? Can't jump that. Ugh. Well, I'll um <clears throat> make my way over there and probably going to end this episode here. Now, we've gone through the um, missions for Tatamus, and I'm going to skip ahead to the next Guardian in the, in the cycle when we get to the next episode. So, until then... This is Fantastic World saying farewell from Ground Zero of the Underworld. Apparently the asteroids can reach the Underworld. And farewell from Lovecraft Country, the Secret World Legends. See you later. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything or to become a god. To stand with us or against us. The choice is yours. You 